China's sixth-generation aircraft development is progressing rapidly, but under intense secrecy. As of August 2025, three platforms are repeatedly referenced in military and intelligence discussions, the J-36, the J-50, and a newly observed tailless drone. All three remain unofficial in terms of Chinese government confirmation. Instead of direct announcements, the pattern remains unchanged, public exposure is driven by satellite imagery, low-quality long-distance photographs, and calculated leaks through Chinese-affiliated or pro-PLA social media accounts. The J-36 is the most mature-looking of these. Its configuration has become clearer over time, it is a large flying-wing aircraft, more similar in design to strategic bombers like the U.S. B-21 Raider than to air superiority fighters. It lacks vertical stabilizers, has blended wing body architecture, and exhibits in all aspects stealth shape. Its design suggests a long-range strike mission set, likely involving nuclear or hypersonic payload delivery. Observers have seen the aircraft on runways in the desert regions of Gansu province and during taxi testing. Reports suggest the J-36 is powered by indigenous high-thrust engines, possibly a derivative of the WS-15, but engine reliability and stealth thermal suppression remain questionable. Despite public fascination, the aircraft has never been seen in formation, in armed configuration, or under the escort of fighter aircraft, which would indicate true integration into active PLA for PLANAF doctrine. The J-50 remains more mysterious. It is believed to be a sixth-generation carrier-capable stealth fighter. Compared to the J-36, it is smaller, has sharper lines, and may be optimized for maneuverability rather than range. Its tailless profile suggests deep focus on stealth, and the ventral air intake configuration points toward internal space preservation, which is essential for fuel and weapon storage. Multiple analysts claim the J-50 is intended for future Chinese aircraft carriers using electromagnetic catapult systems. As of mid-2025, imagery from China's coastal testing sites shows a single tailless aircraft conducting low-speed taxi runs and takeoff tests, but no confirmed carrier launches or arrested landings. Development timelines appear tight, and structural design choices hint at possible stress and material durability issues. The J-50's internal systems, sensor fusion architecture, and weapons integration capabilities remain entirely unverified outside of speculative graphics and commentary by pro-Beijing defense channels. In July and August 2025, attention shifted to a newly captured aircraft, an unmanned, AI-driven drone that resembles a stealthy loyal wingman concept. This aircraft has a completely flat upper surface, no visible cockpit, and a triangular flying wing shape. It appears to be a lighter, possibly AI-enabled companion drone that would operate alongside manned J-36 or J-50 fighters. Some analysts believe this drone is part of China's effort to develop a distributed combat air team, where unmanned aircraft can scout, jam, strike, or even absorb missile fire in place of more valuable manned fighters. The sudden appearance of this drone, fully painted and apparently ready for flight testing, points to accelerated prototyping. However, no footage or live test confirmation exists, and no unit or manufacturer has taken responsibility. This ambiguity is intentional. The Chinese government uses this tactic to inflate foreign threat perception without revealing details. Across all three platforms, there is zero public documentation of combat readiness, real-time operational data, or proven sensor-to-shooter timelines. No mission sets have been confirmed. No pilot training programs or drone AI command protocols have been described. The only source of analysis remains open source intelligence, unconfirmed leaks, and indirect references made by Chinese state aligned media. Technical claims, such as full spectrum stealth, high endurance autonomous navigation, and deep strike hypersonic capability, are repeated without evidence. The cycle is deliberate first a blurry photo, then online debate, followed by silence. China's sixth generation aircraft program is built around perception. Beijing understands the power of strategic ambiguity. It knows that simply appearing to field futuristic systems can shift regional military budgets, strategic planning, and deterrence thinking. These aircraft, J-36, J-50, and the drone, function as information weapons. They are not tested under combat. They have not flown publicly in contested airspace. They are not displayed at international air shows. This absence from real-world validation separates them from platforms like the F-35, Tempest, or NGAD, which are being developed with multinational input, operational doctrine, and transparent testing cycles. In China's case, the appearance of strength is the goal, not performance, not proof.
not partnership. The aircraft serve more as psychological leverage than practical weapons. Until the J-36 conducts verifiable strike simulations, or the J-50 lands on a carrier deck, or the new drone demonstrates autonomous battlefield roles, all analysis remains speculative. The gap between perception and capability continues to grow. And China benefits from keeping it that way.